Today, we are going to analyze El Coyano versus Real Madrid match. I'll be honest, 3-1 win kind of covers the true picture of the match. The way we played was really horrendous. The adjectives that I can use to describe our performance today can be gruesome, appalling, dreadful. I can go on and on. Not only our performance was really bad, commentary of ESPN was really bad. The bad commentary added with bad lightings, it was not an enjoyable match for neutrals, also for Real Madrid fans. And the way El Coyano was playing did not tell me that it was a third division team. They played like a prime Bayern Munich at times. The way they were pressing, our defense and midfield looked non-existent at times. Our midfields and defense looked totally clueless. As a result, we had no control of the match. Now let's go a little bit deeper tactics. Why we were not playing good? Why we weren't controlling the match? Well, it's simple. In football, midfield is one of the main components. If you want to control the match, you have to have a midfield that can do it. Now, if you look at our midfield, Casemiro, Kamavinga and Valverde, this combination won't work. Why? Because Kamavinga and Valverde both box-to-box -box midfielders. Now, it's a match to shine for them, but for them to be successful, we need one player that can anchor and control the passing and make some decisive passing and control the match. Which means we might need a Cruz or Blanco or similar type of player, not Casemiro. Football is all about structure and tactics. And if you look at our defensive line, it's pretty solid. However, this match again proves that how much underrated Mendy is. Uh, Marcelo came for Mendy and which is understandable. This is the match Marcelo can play and give us something. However, his performance was dreadful. And in the front, we also had a pretty strong players like Hazard, Rodrigo and Mariano. And Mariano, oh my god, how bad he was in this match one. Inexplicable. Like he had two one versus one chances and he missed both of them. And the way he played, he even doesn't deserve to be in our bench. But this is a match for Hazard and Rodrigo to show something that they can lead our attack and their performance wasn't anywhere close to where it should be. However, despite not playing well, we scored first goal. It was a cross from Rodrigo and Milita was totally unmarked and he scored the goal. Simple as that. And in all fairness, set pieces one is our weakness. We don't score a lot of goals from set pieces. Like one is the last time we have scored from a corner. We should score more goals from corner. We should utilize all the opportunity that we get. And we should have a better plan how to score from corners which we don't have right now. And if you see El Coyano's goal, what a beautiful goal. I mean, I was really surprised that can score this type of goal. The player who scored this goal was Danny Vega. I don't think Lunin could do much to save the goal. I think Melitao and Casemiro could do better. And then Essence also scored our next goal, which was kind of deflected. What I like about this goal is the long ball from Melitao. That was really amazing. I mean, this again shows that how good Melitao with the ball. And Isco came in and scored scored a deflected goal and after conceding third goal, El Cano kinda gave up. Could be they are tired because of their high pressing at the beginning of the match or that they saw that they can't get anything from here. And finally we controlled the match last 10 minutes, especially when Cruz and Ceballos came in. So we saw some structure at midfield. Some players who can slow the tempo and control as we want. And it wasn't a performance to entertain fans. We were lucky and El Coyano was unlucky and kudos to them, they played real football, they didn't sit back, they weren't scared of us, they played true football unlike Cadiz and Getafe. Now player ratings, my man of the match will be Kamavinga and second best player would be Militao. I mean why Kamavinga? This is a match I think probably one of the best performance we have seen from Kamavinga. The way he played at midfield and taking on players and going fast forward, it's really mesmerizing. And Militao, he scored the first goal and also involved in the second goal. And I would have no complaint if someone gave Militao the man of the match because of his performance. Now, we'll look into Sofi scores ratings and I'll tell what if I agree with them or if I don't agree. So for Lunin, they gave 6.9, which I agree. I mean, he was pretty good. He saved a couple of good chances. The only things that he needs to improve is distributing the balls. And they gave Marcelo 7. I totally disagree. He was really horrendous 
horrific, whatever adjective you would like to use, he wasn't good at all. And Alaba 6.6, I would give a little bit more for Alaba, like maybe 7. And Militao, they gave 8, which I agree, he was amazing and scored the goal and was solid, I would say. And Nacho 6.6, Maybe I maybe that's fair enough, I would say. At which I disagree, Kamavinga, 7.6, I don't agree at all. I think he was the best player in the pitch. So he deserves at least 8, in my opinion. I'd give him 8.5. And Casimiro, 7.4, no, I totally disagree. I, I don't think Casimiro had a good game at all. If you look at our midfield, he's the most experienced player, but we haven't seen the experience at midfield. I expected far more from Casemiro and Valverde they gave seven um I would say that's probably fair enough he did not have a good game at all let's talk about Valverde I don't know this is a game that I thought he could show us what he can bring on the pitch at times he was totally like invisible like he wasn't there where he should be and if you see his hit map most of the time he wasn't there in our defensive line to help the defense what i would like to see him more involved in the defending and also have better ball distribution that's one thing that we need to have in him and mariano they gave 6.5 i disagree i think he did not have a good game at all he deserves less than five simply put that way and hazard yes he had a couple of good like link up and good moments but i expected a lot more from hazard 7.5 i don't think he deserves 7.5 i would give hazard like 7 max this was a match for hazard to show some leadership in our attack and he totally failed to show that in summary for player ratings the positives for us would be kamavinga melitao and lunin and the negatives would be casimiro valverde marcelo rodrigo hazard and mariano let me know what do you guys think about this performance and do you guys agree with my ratings and so far scores ratings uh, put some comments and let us know and if you're new please subscribe